So in the human design system, we have our changing global cycles. And according to human design, in 2027, the nature of our bonding and sexual relationships will change. Gate 37's themes of family and security will transition to the Gate 55, Gate of Abundance, and its theme of expressing the emotional spirit, where we're leaving behind a tribal age and entering into a very individualistic age as we move into the next global cycle, the Cross of the Sleeping Phoenix. And as you can see here in this graph on the left, the Cross of Planning is our current global cycle bringing those tribal themes from the channel of community, gates 37, 40, and logic from gates 9 and 16. And here on the right-hand side, we can see the new era, the sleeping phoenix, which we will talk about in this article. Here's a quote from Ra. You can't trust the authorities around you anymore, so stop. Through the human design system, Ra brought us knowledge of how to understand not only the mechanisms of our individual being, but also the global programming cycles affecting all of us. What are global human design cycles? Global cycles show us the background frequency affecting us during the movement of our solar system within the spiral disk of our galaxy. Now we can see what changes our social dynamics on a global scale as every cycle brings its unique considerations and consequences. These cycles are a fascinating revelation of the larger mechanical pattern affecting our evolutionary process over eons of time. And here is an image of the global cycles, the global consciousness program. And here we are down here in 1615 to 2026 AD cross of planning. And the key to this age, as you can see, was the 3740 gates, which creates that channel of community. The 916, which is the other arm of the cross, doesn't create a channel, but they're both logical traits, gates. And you can see that this cross of planning is shifting in 2027. That's the end of our cross of planning era and into the new era, where we have the cross of the sleeping phoenix, where the keys change, the 55. 59 and the 3420. Now it's actually not that common to have the gates create a channel in all 64 gates of the human design mandala wheel and in that body graph only six gates create three channels. They're the only gates that are in opposition. So that's why there's such a huge shift in this background frequency. The 3740 creates a channel that is tribal. The 3420 creates a channel that is individual. So the individual is about empowerment, whereas before, this age that is crumbling all around us, you can see it, you can feel it, you can hear it, you can smell it, that the bargain is breaking down. When you look around at the world around you, do you notice, can you see, have you experienced how you may have been promised something by the institutions, by the government, by whoever it is that you work for, and there was a catch to that promise or a need for hoodwinking you into committing to something when in reality it wasn't exactly what you'd bargained for, that kind of experience. So the institutions perhaps lying, perhaps trying to bait and switch, saying one thing and doing another, where you sign a contract and perhaps that contract actually doesn't hold its water, doesn't hold up to the weight of the actual commitment. So thanks to Jovian Archive and to Marianne Winnegar for this image. That cross of planning influenced humanity to work together in a way that it never had done before. One arm of this cross brings the channel of community, the 3740. This is where the tribal bargain is struck, bringing loyalty to support the community. The channel of community merges the willpower to provide for the family or tribe with the emotional need to give affection in return for resources to work together to fulfill the demands of our communities. This channel is a global conditioning force that brings definition between the solar plexus, our emotional intelligence function, and the heart center or ego center, which is our willpower function. 
if you ponder it for a bit, our situation is very different from those of prior epochs. And we had no choice. It was simply a time for revolution that changed the ancient ways of rulership, that cross of rulership from 721 to 1202. Our modern democracy of helping and respecting each other was born. So this cross of planning you can see from 1615 to 2027, this is an image that shows the locks and the keys. The thing that we want to point out here on this image, gate 61, Pluto is currently in that gate 61. And anywhere that Pluto goes over in a gate, it mutates that gate. It's mutating the program. It's mutating our access to inner truth. It's mutating the availability to find the individuality of our own inner knowing, our availability to the mysteries. That door is closing, as Ra would say. It is the channel of community that establishes our fundamental codes with the way civilizations have developed. It is the bond of community to protect itself, to have its religions, to be able to have its resources to defend itself. All of these things became the bedrock of our modern civilization, establishing the way we operate with each other. The fact is, the 4037 brought the contractures of agreement between those that govern and those that are governed. It is the 4037, in its inherent bargain, that created the ability for human beings to live in the vastly overpopulated environment and still manage to do so in some, well, peacefulness. So everything we take for granted from our governmental structures to the support mechanisms of our communities, think about what that means. The businesses, the support systems, it's going to continue to disintegrate over the next hundred years. Have you seen it? Do you feel it? Can you taste it? Can you smell it? How things just aren't working anymore? Without those bargains being upheld and renewed, cities will not be able to sustain themselves in the way that they have in the past. Did you see, did you notice how so many people are leaving the big cities and moving out into the country? So when the last of those born before 2027, us, are gone, the world will be a very different place. We are at the flowering stage of our nine-centered human being life cycle. That's what Ra called us was homo sapiens and transitus. And there's a very interesting dynamic, a change that's happening between the people who are born before 2027 and the people who will be born after 27 because there is going to be a very different kind of body graph that they are being born with. There is a shift, there is a mutation. So right here, right now, you and me, my friends, this is the critical time for our species when we can find our individual truth. This is the time for the age of self-empowerment. The cross of the sleeping phoenix gates 55, 59, 34 and 20 that we're moving to is an undeniable antithesis of our current age. Remember the cross of planning is fundamentally tribal and collective logic. It's responsible for the support and the success of developing a global community based on bargains, based on details, based on skills. While the 3420 arm of the sleeping phoenix is located within the integration which is all about self-empowerment, preservation, and the core individuation process where we are distinguishing ourselves from everyone else. So in gate 55, the sixth line, because that is where we are moving to, it begins with selfishness. In the exaltation, acquisition obsession that though alienating is still indirectly beneficial materially to others. The possibility of finding spirit through materialism. On the flip side, the detriment, where the material abundance exists, but no one gets to share its light, the no moon phase, the possibility that materialism becomes obsessive with a mean spirit that will not share. Have you seen that? Can you feel it? It's there already. It's there in the energies. It's there in the world. So that was from Ra Uruhu's Rave I Ching. We are entering into an age of self-empowerment. That next age is not about looking after your neighbor, but rather looking after yourself. We're moving into a global theme of selfishness. Now, the selfishness is potentially enlightened. And everyone will have a different experience of their own enlightenment trip. 
to die and be reborn into a new era, a new age, where we have a different frequency that we're going to be dealing with.